ladies, I am Tanya Cortez and welcome to the Foundation Channel. On this channel, I talk about everything complexion and how it relates to more mature skin. I do foundation reviews, foundation wear tests, foundation first impressions, I do some hauls and a couple little things in between. So if you like that kind of thing, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram at tanya.cortez. All right, so look, today we are going to be, this is fun. This is super fun. I know some guys, sometimes you guys hear those battles, you know, primer or no primer, setting spray or no setting spray, which one really works and is it required to make your foundation stay on longer or look better or, you know, anything like that. So today we're going to kind of see and do a little test to see whether it holds up, whether it looks nice or what, you know, whether it even makes a difference or not on our mature skin or on skin in general, right? So if you've not been here before, I do have combination to oily skin. I have large pores. I have lots of texture, um, hyperpigmentation, a whole bunch of stuff. And I have mature skin, but that's my mature skin. So we're going to test it on my mature skin. And then two, I have a little catch to it. I have a little contest for you guys today. It's all in fun. So you have to guess what foundation I am using in this video. Because it's not about the foundation this time. It's about the base. All about that base, right? So it's not about the foundation. So you have, I'm going to give you four choices in the video right here, up in here somewhere. I'm going to give you four choices of the foundation that I have on. And throughout this video, just take a guess and see if you can guess which foundation I have on. If you think you know, comment below. And then tomorrow, after everybody I feel like could comment, that's going to comment tomorrow... I'm going to put your guy's name in a little scramble and whoever wins gets a $25 Sephora gift card. So this is all in fun. So I hope you guys like the video and tell me what your thoughts are below. All righty. So let's get started. If you want to see this experiment, then stay tuned. Roll the credits. Right, guys so let's go ahead and get started with this little process so i don't know if you guys can remember but if you're in your 40s 50s or above or something like that you'll remember at least i can remember i didn't have any brushes or primers or concealers and contouring i didn't have any of that i started wearing foundation when i was 17 years old and I used to go to this beauty supply store called Alfonso's in my neighborhood. And I would wear um, this brand called Posner. I used to get Posner Golden Bronze. I still remember it. And I would get the liquid and the little powder, right? I would go home. I had either cocoa butter or Vaseline on my face or something like that. I would lather my foundation on, right? And take the little powder puff, put the little powder on. Girl, I would put on my black liner and my red lipstick. You couldn't tell me I wasn't cute, honey. <laughs> You couldn't tell me I was you couldn't tell me I wasn't cute, right? <laughs> but now we do have better tools and we have better products that we can put on our face to try and make our the base of our face look more flawless while we're wearing our foundation and try to make it last longer, all that kind of good stuff. So what I wanted to do today is just to see if primer really matters versus a regular moisturizer or whatever you put on your face. You know, at this point of the game, when you have more mature skin, you want to just throw everything at it and hope something works well. So we're just going to see if this is going to make our foundation lay longer, whether it's going to uh, break up any faster than the side that doesn't have a primer on. So what I'm going to use is one foundation on the whole face, of course, and I'm going to prime with one side. I'm going to prime this side because this is where I got all the situation. This is the side I have more texture, more hyperpigmentation on this side, but the texture of the, the pores is real on this side. Well, they're all over, but this side is a little bit more challenged. So I'm going to put the primer on this side and this, this, my whole face is moisturized. So this is the only side, this side only has moisturizer. So we're going to get hit, go ahead and get started with this. And I'm going to be using my new favorite, one of my new favorite primers. And this is the one size by Patrick Star. I am so in love with this primer. I haven't put it down since I've gotten it. And I'm going to go ahead and put this primer on and this side of the face. Okay, so this primer is supposed to be kind of blurring and, 
you know, on your pores and all that kind of stuff. But it really does feel good going on and it doesn't make your face feel super tight. So this side is primed. So now I'm going to put on my foundation. I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm using or so that ain't gonna be fun. Y'all ain't who's gonna win the contest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And my sponge was a little bit too wet. All right, so I'm just putting, I put on the foundation. So now I'm just putting on a little um, concealer under my eyes. And I just did, I wanted to give you guys a little quick tip in case you didn't know. I'm sure some of you might, but just in case you didn't know, when you're putting on your concealer, you really don't need a whole lot, you know, especially if you have a whole bunch of lines and wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. If you use too much, it clearly is going to accent everything. So, and then when you put your concealer on, you don't want to open your mouth or look up, okay? You want to kind of just put it down and look down while you're putting on your concealer as much as you can. And the reason why is because when you look up, it opens up any wrinkles that you have under your eyes when you look up. And if you open your mouth, of course, it's gonna make all the all that stretch out long. So when you're putting on your, your concealer, you're just putting it all into the creases, right? You're putting it all into the creases and then you stop and then it's inside of the lines. So if you already look down, you're just gonna go ahead and put it on the surface and do whatever it's supposed to do, like conceal, right? So that's just a little, a little tip, all right? So I have the foundation on, put a little concealer on. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'll come back. Let me just, I'm not putting on a whole bunch of makeup. I just wanna see the foundation itself. So I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna set it, but I'm not gonna do no whole bunch of blush and all that kind of stuff. Cause we just kind of wanna see how it's wearing. So I don't wanna put too much powder. I mean, too much products on top of it, okay? So I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is what it is. Have the foundation on. I put on some mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, some regular Fenty lip gloss, okay? So we're just gonna take a look at this for the, for the rest of the day. I'm gonna do, a, take some pictures at three. Um, hours and I'm gonna put those in the videos and I'm going to do um, come back on camera for the final check-in and I'll also give you guys some pros and cons on what I feel like might have worked and what might not have worked um, during this little experiment all right so I will be back shortly bye all right guys so I'm back it's been five hours with these this primer and moisturizer on my face all right so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look let you guys take a look at it and you can see. Now this is the moisturizer side. And this is the primed side. All right, I'm gonna turn the lights down, you know, so you know when them lights are on, everything looks so beautiful. Let's, let's turn these lights down to see the real magic. All right, so this is the prime side. And this is the moisturizer side. All right. Okay, so first off, after three hours, that's when I really started to see the changes in the foundation with the um, primed side. I started to see that my texture got a little bit more accented and then I started getting a little bit more shiny right in my nose, um, right up in here. Um, I noticed that, but the moisturizer side was still holding on pretty good. I wasn't real shiny, just a little bit around my nose area in here, but it wasn't really, really bad. Okay. It wasn't really bad. Now, after a couple of hours longer, I started to really see this get pretty shiny on this side. And then this side is still holding on the moisturizer side. So clearly the moisturizer side did better. And I'm upset, honey, the devil is alive. <laughs> because I love my primers, okay? I love my primers. So it becomes a, it becomes a thing now, what is your choice? Because there are primers, good primers that blur the pores, that, you know, um, makes the pores, um, like pore fillers, mattify them really well and all that kind of stuff. And then of course you have some women who always just wore moisturizer. So it's just a matter of choice. Oily skin girls, you might wanna go ahead and still use a primer. I'm oily. Um, and then the ones who have dry skin, you might like 
the feel and the look of the moisturizer side better because you can clearly see this side here looks a little smoother. And I know in this amount of time frame that is pretty much not the foundation because this foundation is one of my holy grails and it works well, it wears well on my skin. I don't want to say that the moisturizer side is better, but in this test, it did work out better. I don't know how it would work out with other foundations, but with this particular foundation, it worked really, really well. So this is what this little test was. I hope you guys got some little tips from it or something like that, but I am upset. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to tell me what foundation you think I have on today. And to my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I so appreciate you. And to my old subscribers, thank you so much for always being here. You guys are amazing. All of you guys are amazing. So with that, remember guys, stay safe. Bye.